Hello everyone. Today we will demonstrate provisioning the flying voice phone with DHCP option 66. DHCP option 66 is an option that DHCP can hand out the clients when they receive an IP address. Tell them where to go to get the server's configuration. For the VoIP phone, it tells the phone where to get the configuration files from your TFTP server or HTTP server. We will use two devices for the demonstration, the Flying Voice FIP 14G phone and a computer with DHCP server and HTTP server. First, we run the DHCP server on the computer. Navigate to Settings. In the Global section, enable DHCP server, then go to DHCP, set up the start IP address. The size of the address pool, the list time, and the default gateway. Subnet mask and DNS server. Then press OK. It reminds you to restart the software to apply the settings. Press OK to continue. Then we open the HTTP server on the computer to check its IP address. We use HFS software. This is the server's IP address. And then we go back to the DHCP server. Go back to settings. DHCP settings. Looking for additional option, put in 66 and enter the HTTP server's IP address. Press OK again. If your router supports settings the DHCP option 66 or you have the DHCP address pool set up already, you can skip the previous steps. Go to set up option 66 in the server directly. Next, we open the configuration file for the phone. You can get the configuration template file from Flying Voice. Edit the configuration file according to your needs. Here we enter the registration information. After that, save the configuration file and rename it with the phone's micro drives. You can find the phone's micro drives on back label or check it on the phone's web interface. Make sure the micro drives is in lowercase. After that, open the HTTP server again and add the configuration file in the server. Finally, connect the FIP 14G phone to the computer with an Ethernet cable and power it on. The phone's DHCP option 66 is enabled by default. Wait for a while, we can see it gets the IP address from the DHCP server and get the configuration file successfully.